500 to 5,000 calories a day the courtiers would have eaten. Lovely day today. I'm in Kingston, Kingston upon Thames. I brought you back to a very famous place which uh, I haven't been here for about nine years, which is bizarre because I'm a member of the Historic Palaces tr uh, Trust. Uh, <laughs> don't use their membership very often. So I brought you back to formerly Henry VIII Gaff, Hampton Court. one-way system we've got to go around so uh, please keep left okay let's look at the uh, four court first get a map I think this guy's had a skinful okay, going up to Henry the eighth rooms, apartments up here, and the Berlin's Gateway. The Great Hammer Beam Roof, there's another one at um, Crew Manor, not far from here. would have feasted in here. These fantastic old tapestries. Obviously the colours faded a lot but uh, absolutely fantastic. Some of the looking at their diet here, they definitely should have done some fasting. Man. 4,500 to 5,000 calories a day the courtiers would have eaten. Got a picture of me from 2010, I think, sitting at this table with Trinity. So quiet. Because they're doing sort of social distancing, only let a few people in at a time. It's really nice. Everyone's speaking really low, like I said before, like you're speaking in a church or a chapel. That gold leaf roof. Ah, oh, the long gallery. Anyway, I think Catherine Parr married in her prizzy closet. you not to film in the chapel which is understandable so I didn't but man really heavy energy in there really heavy Whew, it must not be out when I walked in there I'm not a psychic but I do sense certain atmospheres but really really heavy walked out all gone there's a staircase we can't get down as I said before I don't think anywhere's haunted but um, a lot of staff everybody have commented on the uh, activity here so Maybe. Just speaking to a couple of girls who work here and saying, everyone's speaking so quietly, it's really nice. Got a bit of a heavy head in here as well. Some of 
these magnificent paintings. Look at this. Over here as well. Absolutely fantastic. Privy chamber. Nothing that screams Tudor to me more than the word privy. Privy. I love that word, privy. Drawing room. Got his wonderful um, costumes on display. And the gardens outside. Great fountain garden, designed in 1689. Ah, oh, the Georgian private apartments are closed. That's a shame. And down the stairs we go. If you're around the area, come and visit. I know it's a very famous place, it does get very packed. Um, Fountain Court here is just delightful. Yeah, come down to Hampton Court. Oh, the chapel corridor's not open, I love this area. Oh, it's a shame. A lot of films have been shot here. Oh, okay. But can't be helped. Actually, I've got footage from here from years ago. I'll slot that in now. It's very strong energy in here and, and now so it is a male and I just keep getting these jumbles of things with it and, and I was getting Sir William and it's something like Keeper of the Privy Seal or to do with something to do with the King and then I got McIntyre or McIntyre something it's like a surname Sir William McIntyre or something like that something very similar. Yeah, let me walk out into the gardens uh, briefly, have a quick look. Because it's time ticketing at Hampton Court and a lot of other places, uh, historic houses that are opening, it actually is better. You're not on top of each other, especially on these places that are really, really popular. You know, people come from all over the world to see Hampton Court. But you're not on top of each other. You're in each room and you might see another person in the distance coming through and into the next room. It's really nicely organized. And everyone's quite respectful of everyone's distance. And it's just so quiet, which is lovely. Usually I've been here before and it's just been mayhem, you know. So yeah, it's good. I remember having a nice chill out here about 10 years ago when I was here with uh, some friends. Just here, just chilling on the grass. Yeah, good times. Nice example of a plant installation. Let's come back inside. Go back out into the main sort of forecourt. Apparently, this staircase has seen apparitions over the years. Apparently, so as you walk round, that would be in the Great Hall. It's a great hall. We're in Clock Court. Clock Court. Corridors. Now they're toilets. <laughs> there we go, a little tour. Oh, 
nice and cool. Because fresh water was so rare, that's why everyone drank wine and beer. How do they get anything done if they were permanently pissed? <laughs> Let's go and look at Henry VIII's kitchens, I love this bit. I love this little courtyard. Master Carpenter's Court. It's great. The great thing about Hampton Court and the other historic palaces under their ownership, nothing's tacky. It's all educational. Really like it. Satan to feed the court. It was like a 24 hour operation. Wow. Oh, door alert. Continues to make me laugh. Serving place, yeah, serving place. Servants collected pewter linen and food from the hatches of both sides of the passageway and carried it upstairs to the great hall. Just go to the shop. So there you go, guys. A little tour of Hampton Court Palace. I thought it'd be much busier than this when I came in. It was loads of people, but it's really, really nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please come down and uh, check this place out if you haven't already. Amazing place. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you next time from spooky Hampton Court.